Hey guys, it's the big guy Ryback, and I just want to wish you a very happy. I look so sh stupid in this hat. Uh, guys, happy new year. Happy 2020. It's going to be an amazing, great year. Well, for me, and I hope for you too. Hopefully for all of us. Enjoy this edition of Whining with the Ryback. And as always, nothing but love and positivity, even to the people that don't like me, but most importantly, to the people that do. Let's have a great one, guys. Enjoy the video. Feed me more. Hello, my friends. Welcome to another edition of Whining with the Ryback. I am the big guy Ryback. And today, it's a joyous occasion. We are back with whining, another whining episode. Um, for the stupid, stupid idiots out there that keep complaining that we're spelling the title wrong, saying it's supposed to be winning with the Ryback. No, whining, 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 reading negative comments. I thought this would have been self-explanatory from the start. Holy hell, guys. I love you. I love you all. But holy hell. We uh, we got some uh, negative comments. I don't think they're they're not... Uh, I don't know how bad they are tonight. We got to, we got to take a look at them here. Usually, we, we've done a really good job at uh, filtering out the bad stuff over time. But tonight, guys, I am having my second bottle. Because I ordered two of a little bit of the bubbly from Le Champion, Chris Jericho. The goat of professional wrestling, as he says. And many, and many others say. But uh, I'm sure if you guys haven't checked out that other video, I almost ralphied myself and shot my eye out. It was uh, in no joke even opening this bottle. If you watch the other one too. I took my eyes off the bottle for a split second. And as I did that, the, the top actually was coming up while, but I was talking and not paying attention to the bottle. It was bad. I'm a dumbass. There's no way to cover it. But I'm lucky I didn't shoot my eye out. <sighs> Fucking Jericho. I know you. But uh, I was opening up this other bottle and um, I had my hand on the top and it still blew my thumb back like it's a little bit of the bubbly some powerful shit guys it's actually and it's actually really good i it's uh at the very least it's a collector's item i think for fans i say get a bottle uh for a collector's item and then get some to get drunk on personally i think it's if you're a fucking mark i think this is a mark's fucking dream chris is a brilliant man i'm not gonna lie you know, I, I'm supplements, and I'm very passionate about that, and that's been amazing. But, man, it's like The Rock, all these guys, people like to get fucked up. That's the market. Marijuana and alcohol. I got into the wrong damn thing. Nobody gives a fuck about their health. I mean, my chest is... Look at the muscle definition coming back. It's amazing. It's a, look at the, Just life coming back into me. It's a beautiful thing to see live, isn't it? I'm actually very grateful, guys. I'm very happy if you can't tell, because it's been a it's been a very very rigorous three and a half years, and the the powers that be, the God, the gods, the God, the energy of the universe, whatever you want to personally call it, has decided to give my big guy body life again, and that's a dangerous fucking thing. I think we all know that. It's like out of a movie. I've been given a second chance with a new body, knowing what I know. I mean, sadly, I'm dumb as fuck, according to one guy. And uh, so, I mean, how good could it possibly be? But I'm going to make the best of it. Burn this body out again. So you can meet me at wrestling conventions when I'm like 60. Fuck, I hope not. I will really be sad if that's the case. But if it happens, it happens. But it won't. I'll go down swinging. Let's get into the comments, huh, guys? Have a little fun. I will say, though, I have um, a friend. Oh, it's on camera. I can't hide this now. Fuck. The, uh, I was thinking, because it's really pathetic. It's in a water bottle. This looks very shady. Um, a friend came over uh, the other night, 
and they were drinking. There were a couple of them, and I wasn't drinking, but they brought vodka over in a water bottle, and they left it. Um, so tonight being my drinking night with a little bit of the bubbly, I decided I'd just pour a little smidge of, of vodka in. This is Grey Goose um, in a Nestle Pure Life water bottle. <sighs> Fuck, why did I show that? It looks so bad. It looks... Somebody, is this like the person who I drank the Four Locos? They thought I was really struggling. No, I just really wanted to try Four Locos. Which, I, I guess, apparently, is the, I had four Four Locos, the, whatever those big-ass drinks, in under three hours. So that's the equivalent of doing 24 shots in under three hours. It's amazing that the, the, the worst of it was a snow globe base in my toilet. It could have been far worse. I ate those Del Taco, Beyond Meat Tacos in the morning. I was, and I'd slept, but I was, I was a wreck. I looked at my face and I go, fine, I look like shit. I mean, look at how good I look right now. Like, seriously, look at me. I looked like shit in that other video, guys. You know, I'm eating plant-based now, too. I feel like I'm getting younger. Okay, we'll move on. Let's get to some comments, huh? This is what we're all here for. It's some negative shit, huh? We all love that negative shit. Feed me that negative shit. Check out my podcast too, guys. Conversation with the big guy Ryback. All of you. Literally stop the video, pause it, go subscribe and listen for like 10 minutes. We're trying to get this. I want over 100,000 downloads every week. Every fucking week. Do you understand me? I have a fucking great podcast. Go fucking listen. I'm losing it now. Made me lose my cool. And my supplement line, supplement line, feed me more nutrition, guys. Getting taken over by a fulfillment company. Big guy's going to have a lot more free time on his hands just being the CEO. Making decisions. A lot more times for meat hooks and shell shocks to little bitches that deserve it. But we got to get the strength back. Get the strength back. Get the strength back. Build the body. Build the body. Get big. Get strong. Durable. Build an indestructible core. Maybe hop in a wrestling ring. I mean, Austin Aries is here in Vegas. Maybe me and Austin do a little training. My little coach, Austin. And, uh, you know, a couple, a couple of veg plant-based, non-animal uh, protein-eating uh, guys, you know? Hang out and do a little wrestling, and we'll see what happens. I don't know. Just throwing that out there. I, I don't know, guys. Or do I know in a well-constructed fan? Okay, I just watch that. Fuck. That was so cool what I was doing, too. I was trying to say a well-constructed plan is slowly mapping itself out, but I botched it. Big dumb rat back. Okay, let's do the comments. Fuck. That would have been so cool if I could have pulled that line off. Eh, there'll be another other times. Uh, Justin says, please don't do this again. So whatever that is, I'm going to do again. That's my way of knowing how to do things. Don't know what he's talking about. Ry, uh, Chris Ambras says uh, he looks a little younger and mildly. Um, and he's not, but he's not. So that's why I did that. Just so everyone knows. Okay? We're allowed to do that, guys. Even though it's almost 2020, you're allowed to do that. Because I'm not actually making Because the guy's actually not. Fuck. Somebody's going to get so mad over that. Well, you won't be mad over it the next day, so I don't care. He said Rybotch, though. That's a go-to. I should trademark that, huh? Rybotch. What a gimmick. Wait a second. Turn a negative into a positive, big guy. WWE with this Ryback trademark bullshit, which I will win. I always win. Listen to my fucking theme music. I always get my way. Rybotch. I could do no wrong. Rybotch. I could literally fuck up every match. High spot after high spot. Just botch after botch. It's my fucking name. As advertised. No pressure. I fuck up. Who cares? It's my name. I'm just living the gimmick. <laughs> Talk shit to me. I'm just playing a gimmick, brother. Rybotch. Machine set back into the set back as a man to just completely botch everything and ruin the future for everyone else. Rye botch. Rye, rye botch. Rye botch. I botch. Hey, 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 he's got a 
Rybach. Rybach. Not a bad idea. I'm going to keep that in the back of my mind. Thank you, Chris. See you guys negatives into positives all day long. A little bit of a bubble. I got Santa, a little fat Santa back here also, guys. Hope you guys have a great New Year's. Be safe. Moving on. Uh, Hatem Jalal Zerhuni, image of a soccer player. Is that who's supposed, S-U-P-P-O-S-T, to be, quote-unquote, Ryback? The guy who won the Intercontinental Titler. T-I-T-L-R. That's me. That me. That me. What's the... That me. It's amazing the fucking stereotypes people... I don't know. That, that guy is not a bad message by any means. He doesn't... But I'm pretty distinguishable, identifiable, I feel. You look at me, I mean, I'm, I'm the big guy right back. It's really hard to miss my identity. If you look at that face. It's really hard to, you know. My favorite is when somebody goes, are you Ryback? And I literally drop my head and I go, wake up! It's feeding time! And then I just walk along and let them really, really, really dwell. Uh, beautiful thing says Ryback growing fast on YouTube then his hair man I should just grow my hair out and just completely screw up everybody's lives I shave this thing every other day to keep it, 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 it I have my hair grows out of control guys I have a great head of hair but I've been told I look better bald because I feel like it brings out my beautiful blue eyes and I mean let's I don't don't brag. I got a real problem bragging sometimes. I gotta I do it though sarcastically, like just to put people that are being negative in their place, but then the people that like me like, oh he's being braggadocious. I gotta really stop that. I'm really trying, guys. I mean you try going your whole life being big jacked and beautiful and fucking giving people liking you. It's fucking tough. It's not easy. Not easy. Uh, Emerald Floison says, alcohol is bad for you. Consider grapes. Just go fuck yourself, Emerald. Whining with the big Ryback, drinking grape juice? Where do you think fucking wine comes from, idiot? So, that's fucking dumb. Having, having some drinks once a week, once every seven to ten days. Holy hell. I mean, look at my tits. I mean, you know, this is, this is getting out of hand. Alcohol is, oh, fucking sitting on your high horse over there, Emerald. Eh, alcohol's bad for you. Well, no shit, if you do anything in excess, it's bad. If you have too much water, Emerald, it's bad for you. Sitting there chugging your fucking gallons of water every day in the gym with your imaginary goddamn lat syndrome. That's bad for you too, pal. Man, just having a little bit of the bubbly. Chris wouldn't fucking sum anything bad, would he? That in her circle, though, they would. Fucking Hager. All right, moving on. Um, son of a man. Odd name. We're all sons of... All guys are sons of men. Thumbs down. <sighs> I'm just taking a minute to just, just take it in. Thank you, son of a man. That's not, that's, that's stupid. Imagine just having to stop to give a thumbs down to a video. That, how fucking bad is your day going? Uh, Nate Dog says, your face looks red, needs some ice. I think he's just referring to... Uh, a hot video, I would imagine. I hope so. And I did have ice after that. That last hot video I did hit me very, very hard. Uh, guys, I'm building myself up for this uh, plutonium number, Mad Dog 357 plutonium, plutonium, <coughs> excuse me, plutonium number nine. Um, it's, uh, 
when I got guys like Johnny Scoville and, and UK Chili Queen telling me, like, it's bad. And, uh, and I don't think UK Chili Queen's even done that one yet, but she's a beast. Um, just as far as the shit she does. But Scoville drank it twice, I believe, but he got really messed up. And a lot of these people, you got to throw it up afterwards. See, like, I digest this stuff. I don't think you guys understand. Like, I've never thrown up one hot thing yet. Like, that's, see, that's kind of, and I'm not saying, like, if I did what Scoville did, I would have to. Like, there's no, but that mad dog, I got it sitting on my refrigerator, and I almost did it the other day. I go, I need to get a little higher tolerance, because it's not the the burn I could deal with. The burn, and the, the burn is bad. Don't get, it, it, it's not fucking pleasurable, guys. But it's really, it, I can't explain it if you've never done it, but. You, you put yourself through this pain, and when you survive it, your threshold increases, and you're like, it's, just, it's like if you're playing a video game, and you're, and you're just trying to, this is a horrible, because I don't play video games anymore, I did growing up, but I'm obviously, I don't play anymore, but your, your energy meter increases as the time goes on, that's a horrible analogy, that clearly just shows I don't fucking play video games, nobody, this is gonna fucking hurt me with the video gamers. If anybody wants me to play video games, I've saw the Twitch thing. I've, uh, I'm not against it very, but only once a week for one to two hours tops. I could schedule that into my schedule and make that doable. And uh, I got a PlayStation 4. I don't use it ever. But if I can get a video game thing set up, I will video game and put that. I will, because if it creates a new revenue stream, that would make number eight. And that would be powerful. But yeah. And I would think it would be a good time to have a little fun. And we could actually record it and do a YouTube video out of it and, uh, and give me a little break from things. So I'm not against it. Sean Morris says, you don't deserve to have a YouTube channel. That's fucking mean. Is that a compliment or being mean, guys? I don't know. Maybe Sophie lying down there. You don't deserve to have a YouTube channel. I feel like I deserve all the success in the world as long as I work for it and dedicate myself and do it with love and kindness and try to help as many people along the way. A lot of people find inspiration from me. That's me. They don't deserve to have a YouTube channel. Who doesn't? Santa, do you think I deserve to have a YouTube channel? Ho, 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 ho. Fuck Sean Mars. <laughs> that was fucking stupid. That's all the messages. Not a lot of mad... Lot, you guys, and you know, in Rybackville, when we when we police ourselves and when you guys see negative comments, I encourage you guys. You guys, you put it... You, you stop it. Knock it off. We, we police ourselves around here, guys. If you don't have anything nice to say, just move along and say something nice to someone else. Is that too much to ask? Oh, if uh, free speech. Well, if you wouldn't say it in real life to this 300-pound plant-based fucking leaf hook destroyer, don't say it online, guys, because it's just pathetic. But luckily, I'm in a place of loving kindness where I know hurt people will try to hurt people. You can't hurt the big guy because I've been through everything. The thick and the thin of things. I have been put through the ringer. I've lost nerve function in my leg and I've regained partially and it's coming back more and more. I was told I would never wrestle again after three ankle surgeries, three, two botched surgeries of the ankle procedures. And then I went on to have my entire career as right back. I was told I needed a five disc fusion. I just decided to regrow five more discs. Told him needed a right shoulder replacement. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. That's a really shitty stoned cold. <laughs> uh, and I just decided to get my shoulder healed through. What did I have? Eight stem cell procedures on my shoulder. Waited patiently for three and a half years. Kept myself very busy. Starting a successful supplement line and podcast. Investments. Given my body life again. Why would they do that? This guy that takes 20 years off of fucking people's careers. Why would they do that? Are you watching the Savior? 
stay tuned. Feed me more. Thank you guys very much for watching Ryback TV. If you could smash that subscribe, hit that like button, share this channel, and for Feed Me More Nutrition on feedmemore.com, save 10% with Podcast 10, click here for my podcast conversation with the big guy Ryback, available on all podcast platforms. Click here. And for more videos of yours truly on Ryback TV, click here. Feed me more.